this class we worked out three problems in three unit representation problem 1 for the system shown in figure draw the reactance diagram the system consists of six components 1 2 3 4 5 6 one is generator rating of the generator is 100 mba voltage rating is 33 kb percentage reactance is 15 percentage or 0.15 per unit the second is transformer rating is 110 mba primary side is 32 kb delta 110 kb star leakage reactance is 8 percentage or 0.08 per unit the third is transmission line the reactance is j50 ohms fourth is transformer rating is 110 mba Leakage reactance is 8% or 0 0.08 per unit. Fifth is motor. Rating is 30 MVA. Operating voltage is 30 kV. Percentage reactance is 20% or 0 0.2 per unit. Sixth is motor. 50 MVA. Operating voltage is 30 kV. Reactance is 20% or 0 0.2 per unit. Here, up to this point, 32 kV. Okay. Up to this point, this point 110. Here, this point, this point 32. This is the level. So, we have to choose a base MBA and base KV. Base MBA is equal to 100. Base KV is equal to 33. Okay. We have to find what is the transmission voltage. High voltage KV base is equal to Low voltage base. This is low voltage. This is high voltage. Low voltage base is 33 kV into HT rating. HT rating is 110 divided by LT rating. LT rating is 32. 33 into 110 divided by 32. That is equal to 113.43 kV. This is the base kV of the trans transmission line. The second is we have to find what is the base voltage in the low voltage side. Here this is 110, this is 32. We have to find the this voltage. Low voltage base KV is equal to high voltage base. Here high voltage base is 113.43 into LT rating. LT rating is 32 divided by HT rating 110. That is equal to 113.43 into 32 by 110 that is equal to 33 kV. This is 33 kV. This is 113.43 kV. This is 33 kV. First I have to find per unit reactance of generator. This generator. Xg1 is equal to actual reactance into Vb1. Vb1 is a given rating divided by Vb2 chosen rating into SB2, SB2 is a chosen value, SB1 is a given value. Therefore, per unit reactance of generator 1 is equal to, the given reactance is 0.15 into VB1, VB1 is equal to 33, VB2 is equal to 33, therefore 33 by 33 for square into SB2 by SB1, SB2 is a chosen value, 100 divided by given 100. That is equal to 0.15. That is the per unit reactance of generator. The next is transformer. Per unit reactance of transformer T1 is equal to here SB2 is equal to 100 MVA. VB2 is equal to 33 kV. Therefore, per unit reactance of transformer XT1 is equal to given value of reactance 0.08 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is a given. That is 32 by 33 the whole square into SB2 by SB1. SB2 is 100. SB1 is given. That is 110. That is equal to 0.06838. The third is per unit reactance of the transmission line. Here SB2 is equal to 100 MBA. Base voltage is equal to 113.43 kV. Very important point. Therefore, 
Parallel reactance of the transmission line is equal to actual reactance value into SB2 by KVB2 the whole square or base KV the whole square. Here 50 into 100 divided by 113.43 the whole square that is equal to 0 0.3868. Parallel reactance of transmission line is 0.3886. The fourth is parallel reactance of the transformer. Here SB2 is equal to 100 MBA, VB2 is equal to 33 KV. Again, same formula. Parallel reactance of this transformer is equal to given value that is 0.08 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is given that is 32 by 33 the whole square into SB2. SB2 is Chosen value 100 divided by actual value 110. That is equal to 0.06838 per unit. The fifth is per unit reactance of the motor. That is 30 MBA motor. Here SB2 is equal to 100. KVB2 is equal to 33. Okay. Therefore, reactance of the motor in per unit is equal to actual. is That is actual reactance 0.2 into VB1 by VB2. VB1, that is a given value. VB2 is a chosen value. Chosen value is 33. 30 by 33 is the whole square into SB2. SB2 is a chosen value. That is 100 MBA divided by given value. Given is 33. 30, sorry. So, therefore, 0.2 into 30 by 33 is the whole square into 100 by 30. That is equal to 0.5509. Similarly, this motor, 0.2 into 30 by 33 the whole square into 100, that is SB2 is 100, divided by given 50, 100 by 50. 0.2 into 30 by 33 the whole square into 100 by 50, that is equal to 0.3305. This is a reactance diagram of the given network. One is a generator, its reactance is J.15 ohms. The second is a transformer J.06838 ohms. Third is a transmission line J.3886 ohms. Again, fourth is a transformer J.06838 ohms. Fifth is a motor J.5509 ohms. Sixth is the motor J.3305 ohms. Problem number two. For the system shown in figure, draw the reactance diagram. The system consists of six components. One is a generator. Rating is 50 MBA. Voltage is 15 kV. Subtransient reactance is J.2. Second is a transformer. Rating is 50 MBA. Primary is 11 kV delta. Secondary is 132 kV star. Third is a transmission line, impedance is 30 plus J80 ohms. Fourth is the transformer, that is three single phase transformer. Each transformer rating is 20 MBA, therefore 3 into 20 is equal to 60 MBA. Primary is 76 bar 33, this is star connector, this is delta connector. So we are making three single phase transformer into a three phase transformer. In star connection, line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. In a single line diagram, we have to represent only the line voltage. Therefore, 76 into root 3, that is equal to 131.6. Well, in the case of secondary, is delta connected. In delta connection, line voltage is equal to phase voltage. That is equal to 33. Here, this is 33. Fifth is a motor. Rating is 30 MBA. Voltage is 30 kV. Reactance is J.15. The transformer reactance is J.12. The sixth is the motor. Rating is 20 MBA. Voltage is 30 kV. Reactance is J.15. Here this is 15 kV. Here this is 11. This is 132. Here 131.6. This is 33. So we have to choose different kV base. KVB1 represent given value or old value. KVB2 represent new value. 
Similarly, SB1 is the given value. SB2 is a chosen value. Right? First step, I have to find what is the transmission voltage. Here the voltage is 15. This here, that is 15 to 110. We have to find what is the transmission voltage. So, high voltage KV base is equal to low voltage KV base is 15. I have chosen 15 KV. KV B2 is equal to 15. SB2 is equal to 50 MB. That is a chosen value. Therefore, low voltage KV base is equal to 15 into HT rating by LT rating. HT is 132, LT is 11. 15 into 132 by 11, that is equal to 180 kV. The second is, I have to find what is the voltage in the low voltage side. Low voltage kV base is equal to, high voltage kV base, that is 180 into LT by HT. LT is 33. HT is 131.6, 180 into 33 by 131.6, that is equal to 45.12 kV. So this is kVb2, here this is kVb2, here this is kVb2. My chosen value is 15 kV, SB2 is equal to 50 MBA. First I have to find per unit reactance of the generator. Xg1 is equal to actual value or given reactance value, that is J.2 into Vb1 by Vb2 the whole square, 15 by 15 the whole square into Sb2 by Sb1, that is Sb2 is equal to 50, Sb1 is given, that is 50, 50 by 50, that is equal to J.2 ohms. Second, per unit reactance of the transformer 1, that is actual value, actual reactance, J, leakage reactance, that is J.10 into Vb1 by Vb2, Vb1 is 11, Vb2 is equal to 15, 11 by 15 the whole square into Sb2, 50 by given value, 50, that is equal to J.538. The third is per unit impedance of the transmission line, that is actual impedance into Sb2 by KVB2 square, KVB square, 30 plus J80 into Sb2, that is 50 divided by 180 square that is equal to 0.046 plus J.123 that is the per unit reactance of the transmission line. For this per unit reactance of the transformer, here 3 transformer, 3 into 20 is equal to 60. Actual reactance, the whole setup is J.12, leakage reactance. J.12 into 33 by 45.12 the whole square into 50 by 60. That is 20 into 3. That is 60. That is equal to J.0535. The next is per unit reactance of the motor 1. Reactance value is J.15 into 30 by 45.12. Vb1 by Vb2, uh, Vb2 the whole square. That is 30 by 45.12 the whole square into Sb2. Sb2 is 50 by given MBA, that is 30, that is equal to J.111. Similarly, this motor, that is given is J.15 into reactance, 30 by 45.1 to the whole square, Vb1 by Vb2 to the whole square into Sb2, 50 by this 20, 50 by 20, that is equal to J.166. So, this is the reactance diagram. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the generator reactance, that is J.2. This is the transformer reactance, J.538. The third is the impedance of the transmission line, 0.046 plus J.123. Fourth is the transformer, J.0535. Fifth is the motor. J.111 6 is the motor J.166 Problem 3 2 generators rated 10 MBA 13.2 kV and 15 MBA 13.2 kV are connected in parallel to a bus The bus feeds two motors 10 MBA 12 MBA the rated voltage of motors is 12.5 kV. 
Reactance of generator 1 and 2 is 15 percentage. Reactance of motor 1 and 2 is 20 percentage. Case 1. I choose SB2 is equal to 50 MBA. VB2 is equal to 13.2 KV. First I find the percentage reactance of generator 1. That is equal to actual value. That is 15 percentage is given. 15 into VB1 by VB2. VB1 is 13.2 given value. VB2 is a chosen value. 13.2 the whole square into SB2 50. SB1 given value 10. That is equal to 75 percentage. Similarly, I find the reactance of the generator 2. That is equal to 15. That is a given value into 13.2 divided by 13.2 the whole square into SB2 50, SB1 15. That is equal to 50 percentage. Next, I find the reactance of the motor. Percentage reactance of motor is given value 20 into VB1 12.5, VB2 13.2 the whole square into SB2 50, SB1 that is given value 10 that is equal to 89.68 percentage. Similarly for motor 2, 74.73 percentage. This is the reactance diagram. So one is a generator that is 75 percentage, generator 2 50 percentage, motor 1 89.68 percentage, motor 2 74.73 percentage. I can find the Total reactants all are connected in parallel. Therefore, total reactance is 17.28 percentage. I can find the base current. Base current is equal to MBA divided by KV base. MBA base is equal to 15 to 10 power 6. 13.2 into 10 power 3. Then base current is 3787.88 amps. I know the base voltage. I know the base current. I can find the base impedance. Base impedance is equal to 13.2 into 10 power 3 divided by 3787.88. Base impedance is 3.485 ohms. Once I know the total reactance and the base impedance, I can find the actual value. Actual value is base value into the total reactance. That is 17.28 into 3.485. That is equal to 60.22 percentage. Or in per unit, 60.22 divided by 100, that is equal to 0.6 per unit. Second case, I choose SB2 is equal to 15 MBA. KVB2 is equal to 13.2 KV. I work on the same way. I find the reactance of the generator 1 is equal to 22.5. The generator 2, 15 percentage. Motor 1, 26.90 percentage. Motor 2, 22.42 percentage. This is the reactance diagram. Again, all are connected in parallel. The total reactance is 5.185. Here, the base impedance is, the MBA is 15. 15 into 10 power 6 divided by 13.2 into 10 power 3. That is equal to 1136.36 amps. I know the base current. I know the base voltage. I can find the base impedance. 13.2 into 10 power 3. Divided by 1136.36, that is equal to 11.62 ohms. I know the base impedance, I know the reactance value, I can find the actual, that is 5.185 into 11.62, that is equal to 60.24. Here this answer is 16.22, this is 60.24, both the answers are same. This is 60.24 percentage, in per unit 0.6. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.